welcome to my channel. In this class, abs and core focus, we're gonna be utilizing some exercise from bar and Pilates to help define our abs and core. Now we have minimal equipment needed in this workout. And in fact, you could totally get by with no equipment. I'm gonna use a bender ball for a couple of the ab exercises, but you can definitely do this if you don't have a ball. Now let's begin standing. We're gonna to start to warm up and the focus of our warm up this today is going to be warming up in both the spine as well as in the abs and the waistline. So let's stand feet hip width distance apart, pressing up nice and tall, tailbone is neutral. On an inhale, you're going to open the arms up wide, lifting that heart towards the sky. And exhale, rounding forward, drawing ribs in, belly button in as we take a giant exhale. Inhales will open us up in the standing version of cat and cow. Exhales round us. Good. So we're moving direction of the body as we move direction of the breath. We're snaking that spine forward and backwards, creating more mobility. And let's finish with one more. And let's return to standing. Good. Now from here, we're gonna shift the weight into the right leg. Growing nice and tall, you're going to send that left leg out to the side for a bat ma. Maybe add the arms in if you'd like a little bit of coordination. Nice. So just lifting to your range of motion, we don't need to go higher than is comfortable for you. Nice, working into the sides of the seat, which are part of the core, but also engaging the obliques just a touch here. Nice. Let's do two more. And now let's take it over to the other side. Lifting up nice and tall through that standing leg. Good, reaching the side of that leg up towards the sky. Breathing deeply. And let's return that foot to join the other one. Taking our legs wide now, we're gonna step into a plie position. So we have our heels apart and our toes are wider. Forming a nice little angle with those toes, we're gonna reach down into our plie and then take it over to a side reach towards the right. Good, now from here, we're gonna roll down, rotating the spine towards center, and then lift up as we extend that heart open. Good, now reaching over to the opposite side now, and then rotating down, and then coming back towards center. Good, so we're just reaching and rolling. Working a little bit of that cat-cow now into this exercise. Yes. Pulling the belly button in each time. And then we're just going to reverse the direction that we've been taking these. So leaning first now, reaching for the opposite wall. Round, reach, round. Good. Let's take two more. Awesome. Now let's step those feet together, toes come parallel again, and we're just gonna reach hold of that right hand with the left arm and give it a nice little pull, drawing the shoulder though away from the ear. and let's take it over to the other side. Awesome. We're getting ready to move into our active portion of the class. So we're starting right here with standing, working in for some of our oblique crunches. So reaching right fingertips and then bring elbow and knee to touch on the exhale. Good, inhale, reach, exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach, exhale, crunch. Nice, keep this going. We wanna think about growing a little bit taller out of that standing leg, and then also opening the right knee in external rotation towards the side of the body instead of in front of the body. 
Nice, so just do the best you can. If you wobble and fall out of it, no big deal. Just come right back into it. Good. Now we're gonna do three more like this, and then we're gonna change it up a bit. Good. Last one, now we're gonna repeat that motion, but with a long arm and long leg. So we've just increased the lever, meaning that the body's having to work even harder against gravity. Yes, you got it. Now legs and arms do not have to touch. Maybe they're just touching in your mind. Awesome. Let's go three, two, one, and let's set that foot down. Good job. Now let's get set up for the other side. So left leg extends long by your side, left fingertips reach up and over, leaning the torso towards the side. You're gonna reach up right now as you take the elbow and knee to connect. So you lean and then you bring the torso upright as you crunch. It's a lean and then return tall. Good, so the further you lean towards the side, the more the obliques have to work against gravity as you pull yourself upright. Ah, yes, warming up for sure in the sides of the waist and through the obliques. Let's do three more on this side. Last one, and now we take the arms long. Yes, reach for it, you can do it. Whoo! How about two? One, good job. Stepping back now, we're gonna go right away into our planks. So you can do your planks either on forearms or on your hands with long arms, if that's okay on your wrists. So from here, we're gonna make sure that the wrists or elbows, if you're on your forearms, are right underneath your shoulders, about the width of your shoulders. From here, we're gonna take the feet all the way together, tucking the toes, lifting those heels towards the back of the room. Now from here, we're gonna dip the hips to the right and then to the left. To the right and to the left. Good job, keep this going. Belly button lifts in and up the entire time. Yes. Whew. Have about another 10 more seconds here. Good, make sure you're not collapsing in the shoulder blades, you're lifting in that space between the shoulders. Two, one, good job. Let's come into a quick child's pose, just catching our breath for one big inhale, one big exhale, and we're gonna come straight back into that plank again. From here, you're gonna lift the right heel off the ground and keeping that foot flexed, you're going to bend at the knee, so knees are parallel, bringing that heel towards the glute. Two kicks and then return that foot to the ground, picking up left, two kicks in towards the heel and release. Good, so alternating sides here. It's kick, kick, return, kick, kick, return. Make sure that those hips are neither sinking towards the ground nor lifting up towards the sky. Nice level hips here. So knees stay parallel with each other. Yeah, and it's just simply bending into the knee, drawing that heel towards the glutes. By flexing into the heel, we're really engaging them hamstrings. Yeah, you got it. Let's do two more each side. Exhaling as you kick, inhaling as you return that foot, last side, nicely done. One more child's pose here to catch our breath before we do our final plank variation. Good. Send those hips back, reach, 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 and let's press it back into that plank. So from here, either of the options that we just did are totally cool, but if you want to add a little bit more intensity, you're gonna lift the right knee off the ground now and draw it in towards the right elbow. Then alternate left knee to left elbow. You got it. Keep those elbows nice and high. You're trying to get them as high up in the arm as possible. And maybe they touch, but maybe they don't. That's okay too. We exhale as we draw the knee in. Inhale as we return. These are amazing. If you want to add on, could you do a round of push-ups as you take these Spider-Mans? Oh, so you'd bend the elbows out as you draw the knees in towards the elbow. Whew, and press it back up as you return. 
Yes, so this is just optional. We've got different levels of people watching. Choose the one that works for you and let's be done with that. Nice. Find our nice child's pose. Deep inhale, recovery breath. Exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. And then we're gonna roll over onto your side. So forearm comes down onto the ground. You're gonna make sure that you're nice and stable with that forearm. Lifting the opposite fingers up towards the sky. You're gonna dip those hips down towards the ground and then raise them right back up. Dipping down and raising. You got this. Let's go four, three, two, now stay with me here. We're gonna hold this, we're not done yet. Make sure you're not sinking down into that shoulder, but you're really pressing the mat away from you. You're gonna externally rotate into that top leg, pointing the knee now up to the sky, and then flex that foot as you take it down to join the other one. Good, point the toe as you come into your passe. Lift that leg, flex that foot as you lower. Can we do two more? Make sure you're not dipping with that lot, bottom hip now. Good. Awesome. <laughs> this is so good. So let's come all the way down onto our side now. Yep, you got it. Now you can either have your head propped up on your hand or you can take your head all the way down onto your bent elbow. You got it. From here, that top arm can come in front of you as a little kickstand if you need, or for more balance you challenge, you could place it on your hip. We're going to lift that top leg, keep it there, and then take the bottom leg to meet the top. Bottom to top, oh yeah, really nice. Good, we're gonna exhale as we squeeze it in, inhale as you release, let's do three two, and one. So good. So we're done with this side. It's time to switch around now and take it over to the other side. Yeah, so remember we're bringing forearm down to the ground up into our side plank. And then we're extending top arm up to the sky, dipping those hips low and returning Good, so this is a small movement, but totally effective for your waistline. We're working a lot of obliques today, a lot along the sides of your waist that sometimes we tend to forget when we do our abs and totally important. Yeah, let's do two, one. Now keep those hips lifted. We're gonna externally rotate, drawing that knee in towards for a, drawing that knee, excuse me, into a passe, lifting, flex the foot lower, Passe, point the toe, flex and lower. You got this. Yes, keep that bottom hip lifted. Two, one. Good job, lowering those ribs all the way down to the ground now. We're gonna extend that top leg and just lift the bottom one to meet the top. Yes, squeeze it in, really lifting through the waistline. Good, now it's time to come onto the ground in a seated position. If you do have a bender ball or any type of squishy ball that you can place behind your low back, now is the time to wedge that underneath the tailbone, soles of the feet down onto the ground, knees are bent, good. Now from here, we're gonna start to lean our weight into that ball. And if you don't have a ball, you're just gonna start to tilt back. You may just not be able to come quite as deeply into it, that's okay. From here, extend both arms right in front of their shoulders. And then as you inhale, you're gonna reach that right elbow back across, maybe taking your gaze, peeking out over that back shoulder, and then exhale, return back. Alternating over to the other side, return. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Great rotational movement here. Yes. Let's go three, two, last one each side. Whew. 
Great work. Let's go ahead and lift up out of that just to give our abs a little bit of a recovery. We have more work to do, but don't worry, we're almost done. <laughs> All right, so taking that stance again, pressing the low back in towards that ball, hovering arms in front of the shoulders. This time, we're gonna increase the intensity by taking arms up overhead. If that's too much, just skip it. As we exhale now, we take the right leg into a tabletop position and then set it back down as you lean. Opposite left leg comes into table. So we're taking these alternating toe taps. Yes. We inhale as we lean back. We exhale as we crunch. Whew, if you're feeling a little shaking going on, that's why we call these earthquakes. <laughs> you're so good. Keep pulling your belly button in, 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 as opposed to letting it pop away from you. That's really gonna maximize the engagement that you get into the deep core muscles, the transverse abdominis. Let's do two. One. Other side. Whew, and let's come up to seated. You got this. Good job. Let's go ahead and set that ball aside for now. We're done with it. And we're gonna roll onto our backs for some bridging. So knees are bent, soles of the feet are on the ground, the palms are actively pressing into the ground. And we're gonna start to lift those hips up into a bridge pose, taking our time to get there, using plenty of breath. Good, now this feels like just perfect for you, just the right amount of challenge, you are going to stay here. If you'd like to make it more intense, you're gonna take that right leg into a tabletop position just like we did from a seated position and then set it down gently, taking left leg up in a tabletop. So we're taking our alternating toe taps from our bridge. Yes, you got it. Keep it going, don't let those hips sink. Breathing deeply, don't hold your breath on this one. All right, now stay with me. The next time that right leg comes into tabletop, I want you to pause. From there, extend that right leg high, so you're pointing that leg towards the ceiling, keeping those hips nice and level. Can you inhale, send the toes out and around, inhale, cross the midline back up towards the top. So we're just drawing small circles on the ceiling. We want to keep these circles as small as we need to, to not let those hips rock side to side. And then let's reverse direction of those circles. Yeah. Good. Two, one, let's bend that leg in a tabletop, return the sole of the foot onto the ground and gently lower the vertebrae down one at a time. Whew. So you got it. We're halfway through this exercise and this is our last exercise. So I want you to really give it your best. So we're getting ready to set up, do the same thing and we'll just finish up with those leg circles on the other side. So hips come nice and high, really press into the backs of the shoulders and the backs of the arms to get a little bit more lift. And then alternating, right leg comes into tabletop and then left. Try not to let the hips dip from right to left as you do this or up and down. Powering this through with deep, steady breaths. Good. Let's do two more each side. You got this. Now getting ready when you finish that last one on the left side now, you're gonna point that toe up towards the sky. Keep those hips nice and lifted and draw little circles, circling out, down, and around. <sighs> yes. Now you don't need to have a big movement here. You just wanna draw the belly button in and keep the hips level. And then let's reverse circles. For two, one, Congratulations, it's time to take that leg in a tabletop, return the sole of the foot down onto the ground, and lower down one vertebrae at a time. Tailbone comes down last. Let's go ahead and hug the knees in towards the chest. You made it. We're just gonna cool down with a little bit of stretching. Nice, let's extend arms and legs overhead, reaching fingertips long. Now from here, keeping arms and legs long, you're gonna to start to walk your legs and your arms towards the right side of your mat. 
So you're forming a bit of a banana shape with your body, kind of a semicircle with your body. If you want a little bit more intensity, you can cross the inside leg over the outside leg, intensifying the stretch a little bit. You can also take the inside arm and grab onto that inside wrist, giving it a little bit of a pull. So releasing into this, enjoying this total stretch from pinky to toe tip. We did a lot of side body work today, so we want to lengthen all the muscles that we just contracted. Breathing deeply, letting that heart rate return to a normal, steady rhythm. And that will gently take it over to the other side, finding our banana facing towards the left. <sighs> really imagining more space between each rib. Creating more length in the side body, maybe crossing ankle, maybe grabbing hold of wrist, and then gently in slow motion coming back towards center. Nice. From here, you're going to cross your knee or bring your knees in, cross your ankles, and then you're going to roll forward, rocking up like a ball until we can come all the way forward onto our bellies, reaching those legs long behind us, the tops of the feet are on the mat, lifting up for our upward facing dog. Lengthening in those abdominals, drawing shoulders back, lifting gaze towards the sky. Ah, breathing deeply here, feeling that chest open, feeling the abs lengthen, feeling the low back release. And then tucking toes underneath, let's lift the hips up, up into a down dog position. Fingers spread wide, melt the heart towards the mat. Lengthening in the back of the body, lengthening the spine. And then gently start to walk your hands in towards your feet until you come into a forward fold. From here, let's take a rag doll, grabbing hold of opposite elbows. Knees can be bent if you need, letting the head dangle. And then firming up in the belly, you're gonna draw the belly button in and up as you start to gently return to standing, rolling up, stacking bones one vertebrae at a time. Head comes last. Let's inhale, sweep arms up overhead, relax those shoulders down away from the ears. Hands come to heart center and give yourself a round of applause. Great, great work. I hope you enjoyed this class. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to stay in touch with more great yoga, bar, and Pilates workouts.